statements by ministries. Last call for statements by ministries. Now time for responses. The member from Halliburton, Fort Hill, Fox. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm honored today to rise on behalf of the Ontario Progressive Conservative Caucus to respond to the minister's statement on Women Abuse Prevention Month and Violence Against Aboriginal Women. And for the women that are wearing purple today, that is the, uh, the color that has been designated. Um, today we acknowledge the need to continue to work together to prevent violence against women, and we recognize that it's everyone's responsibility to end women abuse. Women's abuse is insidious, and much of it goes unreported. It could take many forms, physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse. Every day this week, during question period, I have stood and asked the Premier to take action by striking an all-party select committee to study sexual harassment in the Ontario workplace. While the allegations that have been brought forward in the media are deeply disturbing, what is more troubling are the number of women who have come forward from all walks of life with their stories of harassment. Roughly 54% have experienced some form of workplace sexual harassment, while 27% say they have experienced harassment by a colleague and 17% were harassed by their superior. Of these claims, 79% of victims of workplace harassment are women. And of every 1,000 sex assaults in Canada, there are three convictions. Clearly, this is an issue that has been ignored for far too long, and it's time the Ontario government took a closer look at how the gaps in the current system um, can be diminished. Countless women have shared their stories uh, of abuse with the powerful Twitter hashtag, been raped, never reported. The hashtag was created by a former Toronto Star writer who shared her own stories of rape. Women all over the world are still blamed for the violence committed against them. They are blamed if they speak out and if they don't. It's a wonder anyone comes forward at all. The reasons why women may not report abuse are complex and intractable and so deeply ingrained that they span generations and cultures. Several weeks ago, all three parties supported the motion to request the federal government to support the National Aboriginal Organization's request for a national public inquiry into missing and murdered Aboriginal women and girls to provide a deeper understanding of the underlying causes and severity of the issue. So we owe it to the victims of all abuse to have uh, a discussion. And as I have said this week, I have asked uh, many times to strike an all-party committee to study the sexual harassment in workplace. And by doing this, I think we can provide an effective uh, recommendations to combat the serious issues facing women in the workplace. Violence against women has many costs. Perhaps the greatest cost is when we as a society look away. This is our opportunity to address the issue and give victims a voice. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you for your responses.